hey guys and welcome back to another video here with angel b designs if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back um what i'm going to be doing today is i am going to show you guys how to make the um glass cutting boards the sublimation glass cutting boards which i have here this one is still kind of hot so let me grab my glove but here's the second one i did two just because this is the one i wanted to put in my kitchen um, but I wanted to see what, you know, what the colors look like. I wanted to use some vibrant, bright colors to see if it would pull through. And it did. I think that looks absolutely amazing. Y'all know this is my favorite picture. So um, that's why I did two. I have one that's just kind of, this one's hot too. Oh my gosh, I can't even hold it. So this is the one that I did for my kitchen. Um, I actually feel like I could have did a better design. So I'll probably do another one or a bigger one. Um, but this is one that's kind of more of like a black and white type. And then this one is color. So I just wanted to do a compare and contrast. But if you want to learn how to do these, it's, they're very, very simple. Go ahead and stick around. And we will be doing that today. I will meet you guys over at my computer. And we're going to design these images first. Okay guys, so I'm here on my computer. I just wanted to quickly show you how I designed this. I am designing this in Canva. The size of the canvas, the dimensions of the canvas that I'm using are 11.3 by 7.9. And I got that from the seller. That's the size of the imprint um, area that the seller of the glass cutting board gave me. And I will link their Etsy shop down below on where I purchased the um, glass cutting board from. But basically all I did was I just went into my elements. I searched a white, search white marble. And then I picked one that I like. I believe it was this one. You right click it, you set the image as a background, and then I added some text on top of it. Super, super easy. That was all I did to create the image. I just made this to go into my kitchen. I do have marble backsplash. And then my countertop is kind of like a black and white marble. So that's why I went with black uh, lettering and then the white and gray marble, it'll match my kitchen. Then you're gonna go ahead and download it. PNG, do not do transparent background, just download it just like this. Cause if you hit transparent background, then it's gonna take this marble out or whatever background you choose. So just download it as a PNG, save it to your computer. And then we're, I'm gonna print from Silhouette um, because I don't think I can print this size in, in uh, Cricut, but you are not going to mirror, okay? When you print this image, do not mirror it, okay? I'm gonna print from Silhouette and I will meet you guys at my, um, at my heat press. Okay, guys, so I'm back here. Um, I did print out a second image just because I wanted to see how it looked with some brighter colors. Because I know this one isn't all that bright and it doesn't have really vibrant colors. So I do have two of them here. So I wanted to go ahead and do a second one that has, you know, a little bit more brighter colors. <sighs> um, now I do have my heat press on 386 degrees. Um, I'm actually going to turn my timer up because this has to be four minutes, which is two, four to go, I believe. Mm, there we go. Okay, so I have my heat press set to 385 degrees for four minutes that's how long we have to press it for now remember we did not sublimate our image so i have a piece of butcher paper on top of my mat so there's no ink transfer i'm going to put my cutting board glass side down and then the sublimation back and facing up and we're going to put our image right on top of it and then i am going to go ahead and tape it down just because i don't want any ghosting I'm going to cover it with my Teflon sheet. And then I'm going to go ahead. I already adjusted my pressure before I put the um, um, before I put the image on top of it. So what I would suggest is to make sure that your pressure is right. Because if you normally press, 
press like shirts and things like that under here you're gonna have to adjust your pressure a little bit because the cutting board is thicker so um, I would suggest just putting the cutting board underneath there by itself and then adjusting your pressure so that you're not trying to do it after you've already taped your image on there but I'm gonna go ahead and get this pressed out I will come back in about four minutes when it's done all right so I'm back here it has been just about four minutes moving my teflon sheets and i'm gonna get my gloves just because i am positive this thing is hot okay so it looks like it got good ink transfer like all of the black ink transferred um this side is gonna look dull because the whole point of this is for you to be able to see it through the glass so you have to flip it over to see how it looks so i'm putting my gloves on and we're gonna flip it over oh wow that looks really really cute so there's how it looks you can't really see the marble effect of it i mean you can a little bit like right here but more so you see more of the, of the words than you do the marbling. So I kind of figured this was how it was going to look. That's why I wanted to do a second one with brighter colors. Because I want to see if the colors, you know, will really shine through. I know black will. Right? But I wanted to see if the... um vibrant colors are going to shine through so that's why I went ahead and printed off a second a second one okay so I'm going to do the same thing glass side down take the this is the image I printed out for this one and I'm going to go ahead and tape this one down Okay, and the same thing, 385 degrees for four minutes. So I'm just going to go ahead and press this. And I'll come back when this one is done, and then we'll see how these colors look on this one. All right, guys, so I am back here. And the second image is done. So let's see what it's looking like. how you get ghosting it looks good though it doesn't look like I got it ghosting okay so same thing the back of the cutting board is gonna look dull because the idea is that the colors peak or you know shine through the front so let me get my glove so we can turn it over Oh wow, that looks really, really good. So there's the front of the cutting board. And as you can see, it is glossy. It kind of has like a little texture to it. This is the part that you would cut your, you know, your vegetables or whatever. This is the part you use to actually cut on. Um, not this side. This is the side that you put the little feet on. It does come with... Um, rubber feet so that you can place it on your on your counter and when you place it on your counter it doesn't move or shift that's what you put the little rubber feet on for they go in these corners I'm not going to do that right this second but um when I take it home I will but that is how it looks I think the color came through really 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 well and then in comparison I mean I think they both look really cute and like I said I will link everything down below but that is all I have for this you know what a lot of people people keep asking me for this image I made this image 
Um, I may put it in my Etsy shop for you guys to purchase. Um, I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but yeah, I make this. I just have a sunflower background. I added the girl on top and that's it. That's all. Okay. The same way you guys saw me add the text on top of the marble background for here. That's exactly what I did here. I just made the sunflower background, set it as the background image and then put her on top of it. Okay, but that is all I have for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.